hello September we made it guys September is the month it's the month where summer turns into autumn it is the start of the burn months it's the start of pumpkin spice latte season cozy nights in um oh did you hear that <laughs> pop sound I'm so excited guys hello and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well how is everybody are we all excited for september oh my goodness i am wearing a brand new cozy top i got this from free people recently i put in an order actually i could show you the couple of bits that i ordered and i love this that much that i've seen that they do a couple of varieties in a couple of different colors in fact i say a couple loads of different colors this is in a small so they are quite oversized already but they're just the perfect super soft cozy oversized throw on kind of like light sweatshirt um i've just got like a little ribbed just from primark kind of cropped up on underneath some leggings these are my lululemon dupe leggings on amazon that you can get for cheaper i'll leave these linked below as well just some cozy socks i've had a lovely start to the day today we went for a nice long i was gonna say long walk it was actually a run we went for a run this morning barley and i so i'm fresh out the shower i've just washed my hair i still need to style it but i thought i would get ready with you guys this morning and chat through something that I get quite a few questions about and that is hold on let me just rejig this camera situation so I can get comfy that's the garden renovation so we pretty much apart from the garden kitchen so I will do like I'm sure once that's done a full kind of garden renovation video but I thought for the time being for any new viewers here or anyone that wants a reminder of where we have come from with our house and garden project renovation, then yeah, I thought I would chat you through a couple of stages, bring you up to the speed with things of where we're at and where we've come from. So I, myself and Tom, um, who is my boyfriend, we have been together 10 years and uh, just over now actually, we met in, we don't have like an anniversary day, but we met in August. Yeah, August, very end of August. So officially 10 years. Can you believe it? I actually ordered us a cute little photo book to, do you know, just have like a bit of a, I'm such a sentimental person that I love things like that, keepsakes and stuff. So I'll show you that when that arrives. This is our first property together. I did move in with Tom when we lived near Burnley Way. Um, when did I move in with him? I moved in with him, I think, relatively quickly. We'd only been sort of with each other maybe a year and a half. And I moved in with him at that point. And then we lived in that house until 2020. So lockdown period. We were looking at buying a house together. And yeah, the market was booming. So there was loads of properties but it did mean that house prices were quite high. But we came across this property, which is an Edwardian built in 1896, I believe. So it's quite an old, and it's kind of like on the cusp of Edwardian Victorian. So quite a lot of old traditional features, the tall ceilings, that kind of thing within this house. Um, and we got lucky really, because this plot has a kind of wraparound garden. So not only do we have the space behind our house, which allowed us to extend the property, but it also kind of goes around to the left. So we were able to keep a kind of nice grassed area. So before we did anything, um, well, before we touched the garden, we renovated the house and the basement, which was a huge project in itself. All in all, took us a couple of years and a lot of money. <laughs> So we got lucky with this house in terms of being able to afford it. We didn't think we'd be able to afford this house. It was one of the properties that was sort of, it was going to auction, uh, which meant you had to complete within 28 days. It also meant that the guide price, we were expecting it to go way above that, which we were only sort of, we were stretched our limit at the guide price. So we knew in our minds, we thought we're not gonna get it, but let's go, let's see. It just seems like the perfect, like the house itself with the garden space, knowing that we wanted to get a little dog as well, just seemed the right fit, but out of our budget. All the other properties that we were going to see were sort of, I would say mostly three beds semi-detached. This is, or was a five bed 
detached property with the big garden and yeah so we thought it was out of reach for us we thought the market would be far too competitive as we were looking around we have a fun little story a cute little story of the fact that I've, I've told this before but loads of photos of labradors on the wall and it was like an older couple in the 80s that just kind of outgrew this house with it being a townhouse over four floors it was just a bit too much for them so yeah loads of photos of labs on the walls and um tom sort of pointed it out to me as we were looking around i was like oh and um they said oh you like dogs and i said well we're looking to get our first retriever when we we love goldens we're looking to get our first retriever when we buy our first property together and anyway we got a call well that's actually the time of my dad having the plane crash and it was all a bit turbulent tom was going through something with his brother and it, family drama was heightened at that time so this house as much as it was a dream it was kind of like I, I wasn't expecting to get it so I wasn't getting hopes up or anything like that and anyway it was when I was at my parents after I just found out my dad had had the plane crash that I we got an email Tom and I got an email to say um the auctioneer said, uh, is there any chance you could call us? Um, we have some news after we'd put in an offer, which we thought would just get rejected because like I said, it was an auction property. Very rarely do these auction properties get offers accepted before, but well, not very rarely, but especially as we were like at the guide price. So it's, it was expected to go way above. Anyway, we've got this email to say, um, any chance you could call us? We've spoken to the owners and something to do with a Labrador comment. They want to consider your offer and we were like, what? So we called them up and they said um, on the phone, they were like, yeah, something to do with, did you, did you mention something about a, um, a dog or something? And, and we were like, yeah, we did actually. We noticed that they had photos of labradors everywhere and we were saying we were looking to get a golden retriever when we buy our first property together yeah so the owners have rejected higher offers uh they're willing to pull it from auction they don't need you to complete within the 28 days and they would like you to have it is basically how the conversation went barney was practically written in the agreement that was around july time that we were having these conversations and then you know with all the paperwork solicitors blah 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 we ended up getting the keys early i think it was the first week of october 2020 so that's when we moved in then we um found barney in november and picked him up january 2021 but yeah he was born that november so we pretty much moved in and i was like straight on looking for a dog by that point we were obviously we'd been living here for a couple of months we'd been speaking with architects structural engineers plans on what we could do with this property we were keen to extend but we didn't know or what was viable obviously with planning permission everything like that there was a bit of waiting around sorry i'm like I'm on my knees now because i was getting pins and needles in my feet and we ended up renovating it and we didn't touch the garden until last so we this is a really long-winded explanation we'd done the house We'd extended into the garden, but beforehand it was just very overgrown. There was a lot of the garden that was that overgrown that we couldn't even see how, bar how far back the boundary went and the fencing went. We basically got these landscapers into, well, we did a temporary thing whilst we were living here and doing the house up just to allow us to have space for Barney to run around where we just basically cleared a load of stuff out and just put some turf down which was only very temporary. We knew that was gonna get pulled up. We knew that it was gonna, we were gonna have drains fitted and everything like that. So that was a very temporary fix to last us for like a year or whatever, which it did, but yeah, it needed doing by the time that we got around to sorting out the garden. We then had the landscaper come in and kind of divide the garden into two sections. So we had, because of the levels, we had a grass area down the bottom with some sleepers for uh, like a herb area, some flowers. We had the fence panels replaced around the entire perimeter of the garden. And then we also had the second level a bit higher up with a graveled area and what will be like a kind of outdoor kitchen area. So because of the levels, it meant we needed a couple of steps down into the grass area. So we built like a kind of dwarf wall. The majority of our stuff that we have in the garden that you can see is from home scents or antiques fairs the dining table is from ochre 
The chairs are from John Lewis. I'll leave as much as I can leave linked below. We also have a little bistro set, a wooden bistro set, which is perfect for our like little morning coffee or we have um, lunch out there sometimes. That's from Home Sense. The corner section, which we added in the garden, which I'm so glad we did, that was Tom's idea. And I was like, no, we need more grass area for the dog. But I'm so glad we did that kind of corner section. We now have the corner set over there from Cox and Cox, which is called, I think it's the Cape Corner set. We also have a little cozy nook area within the trees, which we have currently a fire pit, not in use, just because we need to have the gardener landscape some of the trees and trim them up a bit and tidy them up before we can even think about using a fire or else it'll be a fire hazard. Uh, but a really cozy little fire section, which we had. The fire was from Arthur Swallows Antiques Fair, and then the chairs were from Rowan and Wren. Love those little wooden chairs. We have also had some lights fitted by the electrician, which he is yet to finish. We're gonna be doing adding a few more. Uh, he just needs to wait until the kitchen is further along. We did also buy a projector, which we've been loving for kind of outdoor movie nights. If I've missed anything off, then of course, by all means, let me know. But yeah, it is quite a bit different from the before. I'm just gonna finish with uh, my hair and makeup and finish getting ready for the day. Um, what are we gonna do today? I might have to treat myself, seeing as though this is the 1st of September, to a PSL. Pumpkin spice latte for those that don't know the lingo. It's my favorite drink of the entire year, and you can only get it a couple of months. So yeah, probably on to my fourth or fifth by now, but I don't care. If I limit myself to one a week, one or two a week, I'm doing well. I might take a little trip to Home Sense as well, because again, this time of the year, it's my favorite time of year to go. And considering they put stuff out every single day, every single time I go in, even if it's just one or two things, I've been finding things that I love. So yeah, we'll do that. I also need to think about getting out some autumn decor because I want to decorate within the next few days. That'll be my next video. I have some monthly favorites that I want to share with you. I'll show you the free people bits, actually. I know I've not done my hair yet, but I'll just show you the bits that I did get. I'm not gonna keep all of these, but I am gonna reorder some more of their kind of like cozy jumpers and stuff. So this I'm on the fence whether or not to do. The reason why is because free people is quite expensive. So I just need to know that I'm gonna get my wear out of it. And something like this, I kid you not, every single day. I love it. This is a jumpsuit. So it's the same kind of fabric, same cozy comfort vibes. It's got the zip that goes like halfway. I love it when it's on. It's quite fitted on the legs. Fits me really nicely around the waist. I've got it in a small. Am I going to get my wear out of it? Maybe. I also just got this basic tee, which is, I love the color of this on me. This kind of blue I've been loving. Blues and light pinks and kind of pastel shades. I've been really enjoying. I feel like the blue kind of brings out the blue in my eyes. So this kind of like rodeo style, very American. I mean, I remember free people from when I used to live in America. I didn't shop it when I lived there because I don't think it was, well, I was 15. So I don't know if it was targeted at someone who was 15, but I do remember it. And um, these little shorts, I love these on, but again, they're so expensive. And now that we're coming out of summer, these are something that I ordered when it was hot. And now I'm thinking, realistically, how often? I mean, in the summer, I will wear them a lot. They're the perfect kind of lightweight, almost like a denim, but a very, very light, stretchy, comfortable. That this is a sort of short that I would just throw on for pottering around in the garden, in the house when it's really hot with just a little crop top, a little vest on, a little basic white tee. They are very short, so good for like tanning, but I don't know if I'd wear them out and about. And that's why I'm thinking, oh, God, it's a lot of money to wear a short that's just for a house shop. I do love them. There are a couple of other things that I've already put in the to-go back pile. And firstly, this jumper. This one, obviously I've watched it on Free People, but like that blue t-shirt, it says Daydreamer on it. So I don't know if it's maybe a different brand and it actually isn't related to Free People. But there is a Free People tag on it though. But anyway, this is like a completely different fit to this so most of their things are very oversized and i love that but i got this one in a small and it is actually quite small i do like this but there's something about wearing something that's got a cow on it that i'm thinking maybe not 
but I do yeah this is in a small you see with three people on it and it is that kind of oversized fit okay, those are the few bits that I did get I'm gonna be strict with myself because they're not cheap send back what I don't think I'm gonna get the wear out of and invest in some more of the bits I know I will get my wear out of all the time on this necklace and where it's from I will leave it linked do you know what it reminds me of it's kind of like the shape of it is like the little Louis Vuitton isn't it it's not Louis Vuitton also fragrance of the day this is a very exciting day for me today because my very what was I gonna say my all-time favorite fragrance ever 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 is this fragrance and as you can see there's hardly any left so treat myself to a new one the only thing with this fragrance despite it being my all-time favorite and this might even be the reason why it's my all-time favorite is i only wear it september onwards for like autumn winter because it's a very well i'll tell you the name of it and it'll tell you why replica maison margiela perfume in by the fireplace it's a very woody fragrance description is burning wood and chestnuts style description memory in a fragrance and it is just as you can tell well loved and this is the first time seen as though we're now in september i am spritzing it and i might as well go all out because there's hardly any coming out oh my god the scent of it wow this is just always going to be in my collection now forever and ever and ever so yeah i only use it september onwards because it's not summery at all but as soon as september hits this bad boy comes out that makes me very happy it's the same kind of feeling i get when i have that first sip of pumpkin spice latte it's like the official sign that autumn is here nearly <laughs> excuse the uh, pots and stuff drying but before we head out I have just had a knock at the door from the post lady. We have a post lady now. Um, and I've got a little parcel. I don't think this is, I think if it's what I think it is, it's something that I've actually ordered. It's not PR, I don't think. Yeah, it's something I've ordered. So I was gonna include this as a monthly favorite, so I'll just mention it now. This product was originally sent to me as part of a PR package and I have been loving it. I've been all out so I've decided to stock up on some more and it is from the brand Vida Glow. They do this collagen liquid advance with Manuka honey and vitamin C and mixed berry flavour. I don't think they do any other flavours. I couldn't see any. They quite often, because my friend Lydia has this as well and she loves it, but she has the powder form. So they do loads of different varieties with the powder form. But it's this particular one that I got sent once. Um, I can't even remember because I don't think it was direct from them that I got sent it. But anyway, I have noticed my skin, my hair and my nails all thriving. And the only different thing that I can think of apart from... I'm just trying to get into this. Apart from my skincare routine and things like that that I've been doing and the products that I've been using, this is the only other different thing that I've added into my routine and I genuinely think it could be a game changer. It's not cheap, but like I said, I bought these both myself. What I did is if you go online, they... Um, 
onto Vida Glow's website. I'll leave this exact one linked below for you, but if you click on that and then it'll pop up with like a welcome offer where you can get 10% off your first order if you've never ordered from Vida Glow's website before. So use that code, that's what I did anyway. And even this might be TMI, but the fact that I'm noticing my nails got as long as they could, I had to cut them down because I thought they just are too long, like ugly long. So I had to cut them down and redo them but they were thriving. My nails never last like that. And also my hair, in terms of hair growth and hair strength and everything like that, to the point where, <laughs> again, TMI, I've noticed like thicker leg hair, which is not a pro, but I feel like it really is that different in terms of it's affecting my whole hair growth, nail skin. So yeah, I, I think this could be the answer if I'm not mistaken. This box comes with all these sachets and I just have like one a day. I've not even had one every single day, but as and when I remember, I think you can have up to a couple of these a day. Yeah, one to two sachets per day, but you only take one at a time. Tear open, consume directly from the sachet. So it's nice and simple, unlike the powder form that they do where you have to like put it, combine it within um, a protein shake or cereal or whatever you want to do. Whereas this is just in. Every little drop out of this. <laughs> Can you see it working already? <laughs> Cycling that needs to go out now, and we need to get on the road. We need to fill ourselves up with a pumpkin spice latte and head to the shops for a lovely little trip out together. Seems like for. started raining and we're all done at the shops very successful at home since i did also pop to the range which i didn't vlog but i did get some in-store footage for like an instagram reel type thing which i've just uploaded so that will already be live but yeah very successful in home sense as always <laughs> so i'm gonna head home and share with you what i've got in a sec but i'm just blasting Serena's new album. Is anyone listening to Serena Carpenter and loving her like I am? If you are, what's your top songs? I think top three for me are Please Please Please, Taste, Love the New Taste, and probably, I mean, I like Espresso, but I think, I think Dumb and Poetic, even Tom loves that one. When we were listening to it in the car the other day, he was like, this is her best song. So that's his favorite and I, really like it i just oh i also like lighter girls and with espresso thrown in there that's top five let me know what's your favorite it has gone so dark since it started raining but i'm not complaining i'm gonna bring the bags through here and show you the bits that i got there's so many things oh my goodness okay let's sit down oh in fact i've got a little bit of my coffee left although there's not much, and also it's like lukewarm now. We've got our friend joining us. 
<laughs> briefly. Some of these things, not all of them, but there's like a bag's worth, I think, that I've already shown on my Instagram. I showed it like kind of early when I first bought them. So not everything is from this Home Sense trip today. I did get some bits uh, about a week or so ago, I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, let's just dive in and show you the bits. So firstly, this gorgeous urn. Now I loved the fact that it's like a darker, kind of browny mushroom color because I've got quite a lot of these kind of style vases and urns and pots and stuff but in a lighter color. So it's nice to have that depth from the dark one. These are $29.99. They had loads of different shapes and colors of those in. Oh, I've got to show you this cute little pumpkin cushion. How adorable is he? So again, yeah, this is one that I've already shown um, that some of you might recognize already, but $19.99. And oh, it's just so cozy and lovely. I also picked up some cozy throws. I wanted some throws for, um, well, <laughs> she says whilst it's tipping it down outside. But to be able to have in a basket by the back door for if we did have like outdoor cinema night or if we were hosting and summer evenings when it gets a bit cooler to have a throw. Also our sofa, we've got a couple that are on their last legs and need going really, especially having a dog. His bed upstairs has this exact throw on but in a different colour that I bought years ago. I bought it... Hold on. Sorry about that. I thought there was like an injured squirrel or cat or something. I think I've only seen one now. On our patio, because they never come up on the patio. They always stay kind of around the trees and stuff, but never on the patio. So I just need to check. It was all right, but as soon as I opened the door, it ran off. So it's, it's obviously fine. Um, but yeah, got this cozy throw to replace the one that we've had on Barney's bed, which was originally for us. In fact, you know what? I want to keep this one for us for a little bit. And then when I want to replace that one, I'll pop this one in his bed because, yeah, that was an us throw that turned into a dog throw. So this will probably end up being like that, but it's just too nice and too cozy and snuggly to just give to him straight away. He can come up on the sofa. On. This is the kind of throw that he can go on on the sofa. We just do that to help keep the sofa, actual sofa cushions, nice. Uh, but yeah, $24.99 for that one. But then I also got this one which is 19.99 and it's a color block throw that it says it's got these three colors on it but i think i mean they're very subtle that's the darkest one the one along the bottom that's the middle one and that top bit there the line is here is the different beige so it's very it's very neutral isn't it let's face it 19.99 i'm loving the faux fur that coziness from that is so so nice to have um and then last of the throws that i got is this one that i thought would look lovely as well so it's not as cozy this one but obviously it's a really nice looking throw that we can throw over the arm of the sofa to have again as an extra blanket to take outside in the um warmer drier let's just say drier drier days not warmer because you don't want to throw in the warmth but 19.99 that one it's got like brown cream but it also has a green thread running through it this step stool this like mango wooden step stool i want to have a clear out of our pantry and i've got something coming from zara home which is i'll do a haul actually because i've spent a lot of money last night on zara and zara home so we'll maybe do a little zara haul soon but I bought like a big bin. Hopefully it's the right size and I don't need to return it. But I bought a big bin to go in that pantry. So I want everything out of there. So I will literally just have that bin for Barney's food. Um, rather than use it as an actual bin. I'm going to use it for his dog food. With his scoop in. And then we've also got like an open shelf. Which is also Zara Home in there. And then his bowl which is Zara Home. And then that's it. Any kind of like hoover. Um, apart from the robe bot hoover that's gonna have to stay in there but like the hoover that we've got in there the um duster all of the stuff that's i mean i'm not even I haven't even i'll just show you i'll show you let's just have a bit of reality on here this is what i'm gonna clear out i'll show you it once i've done it like the after but as you can tell for now you just walk in and it's just this chaotic mess which is a bit of reality for you um and it's not the reality that I want so yeah I'm gonna just get rid of all any like the baskets the bags and just find homes for everything so we've literally just gonna have this open shelving unit which is from Zara Home the bin which matches it, it's like a cream lacquer either in the corner or something 
with his scoop in that dog bowl which he's literally just been distracted because of the squirrel but he was having his his dinner um that is zara home as well and there is actually in there i've got a new air fryer because we love this swan one so much. We're gonna get rid of the salter one and have two matching. Um, and we're gonna give this one to a family member. So that's gonna go to another home and we're gonna have two matching. I know it seems a bit extreme. There you go, he's back on it. It seems a bit extreme to have two double air fryers, like dual air fryers, but honestly, we use them, especially if we're hosting and if we're doing like some kind of a roast type dinner or we get them we use them more than we use our oven. This little step stool to go in there as well. So all the, the dark woods, the cream lacquer, that kind of Zara home look is gonna go in there and it's gonna all be styled up nicely in there. So I'll show you that, like I said, once I get around to doing that within a vlog. And then a couple of other bits, again, more for the decorating, maple pumpkin, little candle. I like these mini ones, but especially if they're not like my favorite scent. This one's okay, but it's very sweet. But if it's not necessarily my favourite scent, but more for decor, for like within the bookshelf or, um, yeah, styling on top of a coffee table book or something. These ones are only $4.49. And then I bought these for Halloween. I thought this year, because we have the driveway now done, hopefully we'll get some more trick-or-treaters. We never get that many around here. So when we do, I think we maybe had about five to ten last year the year before that and the year before that we didn't have any i thought it'd be quite fun to do little bags so i remember halloween as a kid being so good when we lived in america in particular because everyone was just so generous so as a kid the more candy you got the better more successful halloween trip also everyone sort of decorated their porches where it was a real like you had to walk down someone's drive or whatever and things would jump out at you and there would be strobe lights and it was much more of a thing in america so i thought if we decorate our porch this year now that we've finished our driveway we might get some more trick-or-treaters and it'd be nice to do a full little party bag for people um especially for like our neighbors kids who knocked on last year these were a fiver and i thought we well, get eight so we've got 16 here and then we'll just have a bag of treats for if we get any other people that come but for the first 16 people i'm gonna do a full little goodie bag so that should be fun and then also we got this little star cushion more for christmas so i won't go into too much detail but that was 9.99 and i got a frame now i love the fact that they're doing these frames with artwork included so that in the interim period between you buying some of your own artwork or getting a photo printed you've actually got artwork in itself that you don't need to necessarily replace now i actually like this one anyway so 9.99 these ones are i thought that was that bag done but it's not it's got another item wrapped up here oh, this cute little glass with a little pumpkin in the middle now these are duping a brand that i think selfridges sell what's the brand called i think it begins with i it uh, i can't i think it's a scandinavian brand but anyway 5.99 this one is they've got loads of different uh little things in the middle all year round not just seasonal things but of course I'm a sucker for a seasonal item. So it was the seasonal one I went for. I'm not sure if this is gonna work or not. I'm gonna try it out, but I got this pantry sign. It's a really rustic kind of washed wood all year round, potentially. I don't see this as being necessarily just an autumn decor, but it does kind of give that like farmhouse vibe, which you get in autumn, but 7.99 this one was. And it's, yeah, it's just metal and wood. And I'm thinking, let me kind of hold it up and gauge an opinion from you guys as to whether or not you think I should keep it. So this is where I'm thinking, above here. Is that cute or is that too much? I feel like Tom is gonna to say it's too much, but this is kind of me for my benefit looking back as well. What do I think with that sign there? Is it cute? I really like it. And for 7 99 I think that's a pretty, pretty good find. Okay, I saw this in the kitchen section. They had some different ones with a little pumpkin on the end um, with more gold. But I saw this one and thought this was perfect. It's a little server platter for autumn and it's got the pumpkin illustration on here. It comes with a little wooden scoop that you can pop in here for a like a little dip bowl. 
Um, I'm not really sure what I could use that for though. Let me know your thoughts. What, what can we actually use this for? A small baguette with some oil and balsamic in here to dip in. Something that you could dip into a dip. Anyway, let me know your thoughts and suggestions on what I could actually use that for. But at $7.99, $6.99, sorry. It was too good to leave behind. I also picked up a mug. <laughs> Don't hate me. I have Ray Dunn dupe mugs for autumn. And then I saw an actual Ray Dunn one. And I thought this was really cute. It does have a bit of a residue from a label. So I need to just rinse that off, but that's fine. But then on the inside, it's got a pumpkin illustration. So I love this and it's huge as well. So a nice, um, do you know who I think would like this? My mum and dad, they have, mum if you're watching, get yourself to CK Maxx or HomeSense. They've got a load of different Ray Dunn mugs with loads of different things and I can't remember what they are, but like mum, dad, mum help me out, what else do you have? You've got a load of mugs like this, but we could have like a little seasonal one. That was 5 dollars So I'm going to donate the Ray Dunn lookalikes that I've got, I've got a couple. I wanted to get this one the straight slicer. I've seen on TikTok, I'm sucker for a TikTok recipe, but lots of like sliced cucumbers salads. And I just thought we don't really have a slice like that. I'm doing really thin slices, but with a knife. So it'd be easy to, easier to do it with that. And this was $12.99 for the set, but then they had individual just the slices in TK Maxx. I think they're about eight pounds. So I just thought for 12, I'll, well, 12.99. 12 i'll just get the full kit where we can do some garlic in here some onions there's like dicing ones large small i also got this cushion this isn't seasonal at all but i just loved the quality of it so it's kind of like a bolster cushion but with a bit of an oxford edging um and it's similar to i'm going to try it on the spare boat because it's similar to the bedspread that i've got on there which was the white company dupe they quite often do bedspreads like this kind of pattern and design and yeah, I'll see if this is a close match to, or if it looks in like kind of matching with that bedspread that I've got in the spare bedroom. Okay, I also got these. These someone had dumped, so I grabbed them. I would have probably got three, but I couldn't find another one. And because they were just dumped in a random section, yeah, it's just two is all I've got, but they are these little faux hydrangeas in this really nice burnt rust color which i'm thinking of using for autumn decor they were 2.99 i also got this book now i went in the other day and saw this and left it and then i thought i'll get it on amazon it looks lovely i'm sure amazon will do it cheaper because they usually do uh, but i went on amazon and they're actually not cheaper so i went when i went back and I saw that they had one left grabbed it got this cute little wooden frame how adorable is this they had again loads of these but i just picked up the one it's a real rustic wooden frame only 4.99 maybe a little polaroid i want to buy a bowl have you seen that trend of people buying a little bowl to have like on a coffee table and filling it with polaroids black and white ones little polaroid could look cute in there and then last but not least from home sense i got this pack of tea towels so it's a set of three and for once finally i actually like all three because with the autumny ones that they have it's always like the first one that's lovely and then the rest are like a plain which is fine but a plain in a color that i don't really like whereas this one i love so you've got the autumny print first one which is cream and green with these little are they acorn leaves and then you've got the second one is the same color but in a striped version so again you can use that all year round which is great and then the third and final one is that same color but just plain so yeah love all three of those 6.99 so that's everything that i got from home sense i will leave the getting out the autumn decoration bits until my next video because i want to obviously do a full decorate with me and i am going to do it in stages this year so i'm going to do a decorate with me which i'm going to film tomorrow maybe the next day for my next video and that is going to be a kind of september decorate and then i'm going to do an october decorate with more pumpkins and then like a halloween deck but that they these will just be within vlogs like today's video um and then i'm going to do a halloween one in the build up to halloween like a week or two before so yeah we're going to have a stages of decoration so keep up with the vlogs for more decorating but for now I wanted to 
uh, show you just a couple of, oh, I nearly spilled my coffee there. A couple of monthly favorites that I had saved. Um, firstly, obviously, I still put these away from earlier, but the Vida Glow. Then whilst I'm in the kitchen, I actually had a couple of foodie favorites this year. This year, this month, I had to go out and buy some more just so that I could show you them. But Kit Kat, these are so good. If you're a Kit Kat lover anyway, they now do double chocolate. Been having a lot of popcorn nights and cinema nights, movie nights, and we usually just like the Butterkiss Cinema Sweet. But for me, I've also discovered this one that Butterkiss do, caramelized biscuit flavor. So yum. I got this one from the co-op. I don't know where else you can find them, but I know that this is also something that I found at the co-op, which I've been enjoying. I've only had one bag of so far. When we had some people over the other day, this is what I opened and they were delicious. But again, from co-op, and these ones actually say exclusively from co-op. They're the Wensleydale and Cranberry flavored Tyrrell's crisps. Wednesday Dale and Cranberry, it just takes me to Christmas. It's my favorite cheese on a cheese board. Oh, I did get these. I'm not gonna include them within a favorites per se, but we tried these. Tom and I were curious at these new flavors that Walkers do. They do a cheese toasty with beans. You get the beans. I don't know if I get cheese toasty with that. Sausage sarni, it's, these are actually nicer. These are like a kind of, I guess pork flavored crisp but it's the ketchup that you mainly get coming through. So if you remember those like tangy toms or tomato flavored crisps, they taste like them. I already demolished a whole pack of these, but digestives, gold. I love digestive biscuits anyway, but the gold ones, if you like gold chocolate bars, so yum. I know they do the white chocolate. The white chocolate I was a little underwhelmed with, but these ones, yeah, these ones are quite nice. Anyway, let me take you upstairs because I did, like I said, I have just a couple of beauty bits that I wanted to share with you. I do actually, one of them I've already finished and run out of. I wrote a note of it as soon as I'd been trying it out, but I've used it all up. Let me see if I've got a spare one in my beauty section, but it's from Neon and it's their body wash that, uh, let me see if they've, oh, I do have a spare, okay because they sent it to me in a PR, so I've obviously been sent a second one. But this one, Real Luxury Cocooning Shower Cream is so nice. Was it this one? Lavender, geranium, and cedarwood. I don't think it was that one, actually. I think it's this one. Yeah, Super Shower Power Spearmint Rosemary and Eucalyptus. It's that one. I'll leave it linked, because I, like I said, I don't have it to show you, but it smells so fresh and, oh, it's the like spearmint and everything it leaves your skin feeling almost tingly do you know like the mint um body wash that you used to use and everyone used to say like wow you feel it it's uh yeah it's, it almost makes your skin cold that's what this does and it is just so nice i've had it when i've gone for a run and i've used it afterwards and it just cools down my whole body and it's lovely this i've tried and it's really good it's from l'oreal and it's called brow lamination and it really helps your brows sort of look laminated if you want them to sort of be glued up this is a great product, better than the got to be yellow one, which I'm going through at the moment to kind of get rid of, but this is my new favorite brow, brow gel. I've also loved using the, where is it? The Bobbi Brown Weightless Skin Foundation and SPF 15. That's been a new foundation that I've been loving. I've not got any on today just because I went with BB Cream today, the Clarins one. But yeah, if I'm wanting a bit more coverage, slight more coverage, that Bobbi Brown one is lovely. Also this lip glaze, the... It's called 2000 Calorie Lip Glaze. This is the color that I like, the Silk Sheets. It's like a nice neutral, uh, kind of glossy, just a really nice formula. Take you through to my bedroom because I've got one other thing in here, a beauty wise, I wanted to show you. And it's from Jo Malone. Now, this is a bit of a wild card for me in terms of fragrance because I typically like the real Oudi, uh, the one that I showed you earlier, the, where is it, by the fireplace, kind of like warm scents, and this, uh, like not floral basically, but I've been using the orange marmalade one, and layering it with, which seems like an unusual layer, but I just think it works really nicely, where is it, here we go, velvet rose and oud, so this alone, 
I don't want to, oh, I'll just pop some on, is verging on too floral for me. It's just verging, but it's okay. Uh, it's the rose. If it's too rose, then it's not for me. But putting this kind of fruity orange marmalade with it, and they are known, Jo Malone, for, oh, it's so good, for fragrance layering. So if you've got like a pomegranate noir, I feel like that would work really well with that one. Just something fruity to bring away from that rose um, just makes it a really deep feminine, but deep scent rather than too like girly and floral. So yeah, I've been loving doing that layer. However, like I said, now that I am into September, by the fireplace is my is my go-to. I've not made the bed today, which is very unlike me, but it was just one of those rush out the door, go for a run, get back and I'll do it then. But I haven't done it. <laughs> and I just feel like when you're already middle of the afternoon making your bed, nah. Uh, very unlike me though. I think I don't make my bed maybe once every three weeks. No, maybe even once a month. It's just so part of my routine, so it feels a bit, I'm, I'm annoyed that it's not made. Oh, anyway, um, take the opportunity to just lie down for a second. I also wanted to talk some TV favourites that I've been loving. Let me know any suggestions as well from you guys, because I love hearing your suggestions. But we obviously watched Supercell, that was more of a July favourite, because that was when we were on holiday. But then we got back and we downloaded Apple TV purely to watch Presumed Innocent. Now uh, we had a bit of a trial, so I thought, yeah, we'll get the trial, get the free trial period to watch this Presumed Innocent that everyone's talking about. And it was worth downloading for that. But because we got Apple TV then, I was having a look at some of the other um, things that were on there. And we watched, we actually binged it, Silo. I loved Silo. It's sci-fi, but in a kind of believable way rather than aliens and well not that aliens aren't believable there's a whole other question do we believe in aliens does life exist it's got to right life has got to exist elsewhere anyway that's a whole different topic there's no aliens in it well as far as i'm aware but silo is really really good and we binge the first se series the only dilemma is there's no second series just yet. The second one is coming out in November. So if you haven't already watched Silo, S-I-L-O, well worth a watch. But yeah, that is all my kind of monthly favourites. That's um, going to close off today's vlog actually here because I feel like it's ended up being a quite long one. So I will get out the autumn decor, start doing that tomorrow. So stay tuned for my next video for all of that. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Whatever it is that you're doing, sending my love. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.